Hey guys, Colt back here, and I just got back from school, and I was grieved from, with a surprise. We had snow, uh, the snow's all gone now. It was melted away. And also, my snowmobile has had the, seat, the duct tape seat <laughs> rip off of it. Expected it to last just a bit longer, but oh well. So, I'll just put it like that for now. Um, and, I've got a new project. Here it is, I've uh, pre named it the trash van. That could change, but I don't know. So, it's a 150cc china cart, and it is, uh, I paid $70 Canadian for it, and I've needed to go through and redo the whole wiring. And as you can see, it's not quite done yet, but I've gotten to start. Uh, I was told the coil was bad, but, uh, Turns out it wasn't just the wire. I also needed to replace the fuel filter and the fuel line. And I don't have that finalized yet. As you can see, there's a big uh, big loop in there I'm gonna get rid of, but I haven't fired it up yet. Well, I did, uh, just temporarily. I was, uh, I jerry-rigged up a fuel line and uh, found the carbs dirty. Mm. As to be expected, like that gas sat so long it burnt a hole through the fuel filter. So that's that, but um, all I need to do really do it after my wiring is clean up my carburetor, I got a new battery, I bought this one from Walmart about two months ago, but it's having some trouble holding a decent charge right now, but, and then I just gotta seat the bead on this tire, I'm not sure if I already said that, but that's alright, and permanently mount my ignition switch, so I'll show you right now, I got this light switch here, it's my master power, because my accessory switch my ignition doesn't work so I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna show you uh, what works I also do have the other headlight for it but the bulbs burnt out so I've got that inside right now but the headlight that's on there works and the tail light that's on there works so I'll turn that off it also has a horn which is pretty cool and if you couldn't tell, I am uh, I'm using a new camera. I got this Kodak Z18 second hand for 20 bucks. Not bad. Uh, now to the next order of business. This is my lawnmower I picked up. And I found out that I've got the opportunity to build a go-kart in my tech class. So obviously I'm going to jump at that opportunity. So I've got a plan. This right now is your average run-of-the-mill lawnmower. But I, my plan is to, like, I, this was the all-terrain lawnmower, but now that I've got this and that, which I'll get to in a bit, um, it's kind of useless. So I'm going to put a live axle kit on the back, and I'm going to put a horizontal shaft engine in there. Right now, I've got that 12-horse uh, Briggs in there, and... It just needs the carb solenoid bypassed and it'll run, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, that's that. It's a bit wet, but that's alright. So I'm going to use this motor, this fuel tank, most likely, and this transaxle, which is a six-speed Dana Spicer. So I've also got a four-and-a-half-inch engine pulley that I'm going to slap on there, and I'm going to build it with the front end of a bicycle. And I'd also like to put a spark plug in the exhaust, make it spit flames, but I don't know. Uh, next, I've got, I picked up this thing. Uh, I paid $60 for it, not a bad deal. And uh, it runs, the fuel just leaks a little due to the fuel and water separator on the tank not working. And the throttle, uh, the throttle cable is kind of junk. So I gotta fix that, but that's it. Uh, next order of business, this here, I've named the Devil's Armpits. This is my full suspension go-kart I picked up. The back tires are at my grandpa's right now, just so I can seat the beads. Uh, pretty heavy duty. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a 10-horse Tecumseh, which is in here, right there. That's my 10-horse. That is my 10-horse my Briggs, and my blown-up 14-and-a-half Briggs. So, that's all I really got in there. And other than that, I picked up these two uh, Maxxis Razor 20x10x10 by 10 by 10 tires, and I'm gonna hopefully put those on the back of that go kart. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be uh, swapping. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna burn them out first. 
And yeah, that's about it. I'm sorry for my absence, but I've had no camera to record with. But I am back, and the idea of daily vlogs has been proposed. So I don't know if you'd like to see that, but if you do, that's something I can do. So yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe. Don't miss any of these projects, because they're all pretty damn cool. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it, and I'll catch you in the next one.